Governor Christie's nominated Judge David Bauman to fill a long vacant position as Associate Justice of the state Supreme Court. If the Superior Court judge is confirmed, he'd be the first Asian American to serve on the state's highest court. Christie nominated Judge Bauman back in 2012, but withdrew his name because of what Christie called Senate inaction. Why does he expect a confirmation this time? I just believe that the sense of fundamental fairness um, dictates that someone who they just confirmed unanimously this past May for lifetime tenure uh, on the Superior Court, there is no reason for them not to take on this, this nomination. Uh, in addition, we've had Democrats throughout this state and around the country clamoring um, about Washington, D.C. and the idea that it would be absolutely unacceptable for the Republicans in the United States Senate to hold up the confirmation of a United States Supreme Court justice for 11 months. This seat has been held open for six years. Uh, it's no longer acceptable and it's not acceptable to me. Joining us from the State House is Chief Political Correspondent Michael Aaron. Hey, Michael, why did it take so long to appoint someone? Hi, Mary Alice. Uh, this is the seat that once belonged to uh, Justice John Wallace who at the time was the only African-American on the court. Christie very controversially uh, declined to reappoint him for lifetime tenure. Senate President Steve Sweeney, the top Democrat down here, took great offense to that, vowed to never fill the seat going forward, and that's the state of affairs today. Bauman was nominated, as you pointed out, in 2012. He never got a hearing. Christie's coming back at the Democrats with that nomination again. Are you reading this as a challenge to the Democrats? Absolutely. Uh, I, I think Christie uh, is hanging his hat on what he calls a constitutional precedent that g the governor uh, can appoint up to four members of the court from his own party. Bauman would be the fourth Republican on the court if he were confirmed. Uh, there are two Democrats and one independent. We asked the governor today whether fundamental fairness, as he put it, might dictate putting three Republicans and three Democrats and one independent on the court. He said he's sticking with tradition. Every, there, there have been four Democrats in the past. He's entitled to that. The Republican Party is entitled to that as long as he's governor. What's the likelihood the Democrats are going to go along with the Obama nomination? My guess is that they're not going to go along with it. They're, they're going to continue to stonewall it as they did when it was raised three and a half years ago. I tried to reach out to Senate President Sweeney in the past hour to see what his position is. I haven't been able to get through to him or his spokesman. Uh, but it's hard to see, unless it's part of some rapprochement between the two parties down here on a whole host of issues, including some that the governor says are totally unrelated and he wouldn't even consider in conjunction with this. Uh, unless that happens, I think the Democrats will probably do with this nomination what they did before, which is not even give it a hearing. Does Christie go along with the U.S. Senate Republicans who say they won't confirm a nominee to replace Supreme Court Justice Scalia until a new president's sworn in? No, he took issue with that today. Uh, he hadn't addressed that before today, but he said he disagrees with the Mitch McConnell position in Washington. He thinks the Democrats should, th th I'm sorry, that the Republicans should uh, get, grant a hearing to an Obama nominee to the U.S. Supreme Court, just as he is asking the Democrats here in Trenton to give a hearing to his nominee. Okay, Michael Aaron, thanks. Thank you, Mary Alice. Thank you.